tell you what's changed right now In a different field, different lane right now Now I'm in the mud, switching lanes right now Passive income getting paid right now Used to roll around with sinners Bulldozers and killers Now we focused on figures Three course meals for dinners Five star suites and villas Now the swag hit different Cause the bag is different On the tab is Sweet, might as well start. Okay, cool. Yes, we are ready. Sweet. We are ready. <laughs> this is history. First time we got a baby on. I know. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Why would there why be would a baby? <laughs> <laughs> what do you not normally talk uh, about? Oh, this is random stuff, isn't it? <laughs> it's true. Why would, they be, why would there be a lady and a baby? <laughs> Whose baby would it be? You could have put Sandra. Sandra yeah, yeah Sandra. you could have put Sandra's baby, actually, to be fair. Are you lost? Are you lot with besties, aren't you? Oh, come besties? on, man. That's uh, for my, my life. Oh. You could have married her. I'm, I could have married her. You could have. I could have married Sandra. <laughs> it's even crazy to even uh, think about it. I'm thinking about it. You could have. Plus, I know, her, I know her baby father as well, isn't it? Oh, you do? Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. I probably knew him before I knew her. Really? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's from uh, this era, fair enough. This is where, okay. I, this is where I'm from. Where are you from? from? East. East, yeah. What part of East? Well, I, grew, oh, I went to primary school in Prinsby Park. Mm hmm. And then we grew up in East, as in Hackney, Homerton. Wait, what um, primary school did you go to? Oh, I'm secondary, King. sorry. Our ladies. Our, who else went there? Our ladies, me, E, you know, EJ. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Me, EJ. Who else do you know of us? Oh, God. Our ah. ladies. What, Yinka. What? Okay, yeah, I don't know the whole game. Well, Stella there as well. Stella. Okay, it was Sandra, Sandra then, isn't it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Marta as well then, Marta, isn't it? Marta, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Those are our ladies' girls. August. Who grew up and tended to the monarchs, girls. Yeah, that, you literally grew up and tended to the We all went to the same place. Augsburg, behave yourself, yeah? We're on TV. <laughs> I said, a videotape, and you said, I don't forget anyone uses this video. I said, what do you call it then? That's hilarious. You said, um, Let me just start by, obviously, this is going to be an unconventional interview, but they're all in unconventional. That's but this is called This Can't Come Out. Now, the premise is we have beautiful... Unfiltered conversations. Yes. And because we're being so unfiltered, what tends to happen is we say some things that are never going to see the light of day. <laughs> yeah, because it's just too wild. So before <laughs> I do anything, I send it to you first and foremost. Okay. And then you have to approve anything that actually comes okay. out first and foremost. Fine. Got so it. usually, how I usually like to start is, how do we know each other, really? Oh, how do we know each other? Which is interesting. I thought about this on the way here, isn't it? I know you through EJ and them lot, but I feel like I didn't really like you. I don't know why you wouldn't have liked me. I don't know why you wouldn't have liked me. Because in terms of uh, the the side that I was on, in it, in regards to in regards to uh, the the guys, which guys? Because for some, for some the, reason, the Brunel people. Yeah, I feel like you're more you because you were monarchs. I yes. felt like as though you were more affiliated with <laughs> that side of uh, of Brunel, in it. EJ. No, I mean the the boys. So Adrian and Kwame, in it. Yeah, but they Adrian, Adrian, Adrian as in skin. Yeah, yeah, but no, but not because well, of that. Well, that's what I would have thought in it. So I, I probably didn't make myself emotionally available to you. Maybe lot as a result. So of whenever that, we used to see you, we just think. But the funny thing is, I thought about it. I was like, like in terms of like, I was like, how do I know her? Are my vibers? I actually probably knew you before I even met you. Yes, I'm in, sure you in, did. in Brunel, because yes. I remember what happened was one time, oh, uh, Sandra told me <laughs> yeah. uh, she was on a vibe. Of, <laughs> I'm scared. You know, no, there's nothing bad. Oh, okay, okay. Sandra was on a vibe of, oh, um, um, I think this was like the second week of Brunel. Mm. She's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, obviously EJ said uh, the girls are coming down. And I'm like, oh, who's the girls? <laughs> and I've got a rule in it. When I move to girls, my vibe is like, I can, like I, I'm very clued up because I've okay. seen when guys... Uh, move too quick and then they pick one girl they end up liking the next one yeah. oh. and then they just look like a joke innit because <laughs> now you like the wrong one yeah but you've moved too fast yeah yeah so my vibe you have to make it se make uh, it make sense yes yeah, so I was like no 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 okay cool she just she literally showed me all of you innit uh, beforehand <laughs> what, on Facebook or something yeah, it was on Facebook innit <laughs> and then I remember it, yes, you. and I remember it was uh, basically I think it, I remember seeing you Fun Show yes. and Stella innit Together? Uh, no, that Sandra just showed, showed me of okay, uh, the okay. girls that EJ was oh, bringing down, in it. Got it, got yeah, it, got yeah, it, got yeah. It, got it. And um, yeah, so 
But so I always knew of you, but I don't think we've ever been no, formally introduced to each no, other. Really, nothing. We, I yeah. know of you as well. Yeah, but it was never a thing because I know EJ knew you. Knew Sandra. Sandra was your best mm-hmm. friend. Stella used to talk about. And you obviously, a lot. know Isaac as well. I know really. Isaac as well. So I knew you lot. But whenever uh-huh. we were together, it was just almost like, oh, this time in. I think at, at Jessica's wedding is when it was like, oh my god, we've, I think that was our first time speaking. Mm-hmm. Maybe, been. maybe it in it. it but I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know. But I remember been. leaving thinking, I actually like these girls, you know. <laughs> oh, what did they call us? Oh, what what they, they call the You called us BBB something something bitches. I remember you just looking outside the window thinking. This is what girls talk about. <laughs> this can't be real. I remember you were just looking at, at all of us. Me and Shane Eka, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know real? something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You girls are mean. <laughs> you are mean. No, I cried that day. That one was hilarious. I actually cried. But yeah, that was, I think that was the first time we actually probably met. Yeah, I remember, we yeah, leaving. We spoke. Yeah. Because I'd met you and probably just... Whatever. Yeah. I yes. remember leaving thinking, oh, wow, these girls are actually lovely, lovely girls, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they're lovely people, isn't it? And I remember telling people, yo, you know, them girls are actually mad cool, you know? <laughs> so you know Jessica or you know Aziz? I know Jessica and I know Aziz, isn't it? Because your Aziz is family, friends. basically, isn't it? Aziz is, okay, okay. Aziz yeah, is definitely. family. And also, uh, me and, uh, you know, Abby. Abby Shino. Yes. Me and Abby Shino uh, basically lived around the same area. Oh. So me and Abby already had a relationship. I oh, remember okay. me and Abby and uh, Jess was around uh, with uh, when I met um, Abby. Got it. So I was like, okay, cool. You didn't go to Monarchs now, did you? I didn't go to Monarchs. Did I, go? I went to Fort Smith. Oh, okay. Um, Posh area, Muswell Hill. That's right. I'm saying, you know, which is why and I'm saying I'm very, very well rounded. Yeah, of yeah. course you are. <laughs> so it's so evident, isn't it? No. Isn't it? <laughs> what I found uh, very interesting about you, mm. I didn't know that you were an influencer like this, isn't it? When did that start? Why are you looking at me all crazy like that? Do you Wait, know what? When did it st- go on? On? I'm just saying, I, I, basically, <laughs> I have been doing what I'm doing currently yeah. right now for maybe, like, say, say, three years planning, oh. one year actual execution of oh, actually pistol. doing it. Yeah, facts. So I've been doing it for a year of execution. Okay, real, doing real it. life, yes. Yeah. And I've accumulated 5,000 followers on uh, TikTok and 1.6 on, uh, what's it called? Instagram. On Instagram. You, my friend, yeah, I've, uh, I've got like 18K. So I know how, how how hard one has to work in order to, to get some sort of traction. You, my friend, uh, how many followers have you got on uh, TikTok? Oh, TikTok is like 25K. And uh, Instagram? Instagram's 18. 18,000. Yeah. yeah. We're, get, we're getting there. We're growing. We're getting there. Yeah. So, Slowly. my friend, you're, you're somewhat of an influencer, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Because I forget myself. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I was ranting on my on my stories about work. And we'll probably get into that at some point. But I was ranting and my workmate was like, Lucy, um, you have 18,000 people on your Instagram. I think you need to remove that. And I thought, mm, no, we just no need to. Like, mm, I think you should because just you don't. I actually don't know you, who follows did, me. Did you say who you work for? No, okay. I was ranting about like maternity leave and not wanting to go back to work because it's just long and it's just like I'm doing my kit days. Uh-huh. So it's like keeping in touch days, and they're making me do real work. Uh-huh. And I was like, who do I complain? I can't complain to HR because they're gonna be like, but you're supposed to be working. Uh-huh. So that's why I was in the predicament and I was just ranting. And my friend, my, work, my friend that works in the same place as me, she was on maternity leave, but she's gone back. Mm-hmm. She's like, Lucy, I don't think you can leave that there. She's like, you're wild. You are wild in on that mm-hmm. your Instagram because... 18,000, yeah. You need to remove that because you don't know who's going to see it. It might not be someone direct. They might send it to someone else and then you're going to be like... Um, yeah, but so, what about your actual work people? Yeah. Why, they might see it, no? That's, the, that's what she was basically saying. Yeah. But I was saying, oh, I don't have my work people. But you, that's what you say. And then randomly someone now sends... Well, what do you say? You don't hang around your work no, people? No, I don't have my work people on my 18,000? You have no <laughs> idea. That thing that they'll just put in the shade room and then everyone sees it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the maddest thing. And because I'm not private, all they have to do is type my name yeah. on Instagram. It's happened to me. And you know what's crazy? I, no. me, I, I, I've always, my whole life, kept work and my private life completely separate. I'm so pissed my, that my work, some of my work colleagues have found out that I fucking do this, man. Have they? Yeah. No. They're like, yo, damn it, I'm sure you're not just me. And I'm thinking... Wait, well, no, you can't say where you work, but... No. Hey, I can. I can, work. I can edit this out. Yeah, I'm working. Shh. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shh. Yeah. No, that's where I work. No, you don't. No, no you not don't. In, not in. Sh- sh- I work in. Sh- which is oh, next door. Okay, okay. Oh, right. The building next door. Oh, so when you go to the same Tesco oh, then? Yeah. <laughs> wait, the Tesco. Wait, the Tesco's around the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so five oh, guys. Yeah. yeah. No, right. How random is that? I'm gonna have to feed him because. That's crazy, man. This is the first, ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> otherwise. 
Anyway, they can't see anything, so it's fine. Let's go. Because her voice is not going to calm down. I've given oh, them that. Oh, make the video over 80. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. Uh, August. So, yeah. Let me oh, look at his little legs. <laughs> Where's the shoes? Oh, that's right. The shoes over there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. August. Yeah, yeah man. Ah, yeah. Work, 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 man. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. We literally live. Well, and I've never seen you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm hardly at work. Right? I'm hard, okay, fair I hardly go into the office now. Oh, How long have you been working there for? Two years in Feb. Oh wow! And then I, w- I was going in before I was getting pregnant. Before I was getting pregnant. Before I was getting pregnant. Before I was pregnant, <laughs> I was going in like two days a week, like a Tuesday and a Wednesday. Tuesday and a Wednesday. Or yeah, Monday mine would have been Tuesdays. I would have went Monday. Really? Yeah. Tuesday and Friday. Yeah, Friday would have never seen me. I did Monday. I, d- I tried to do the first bits of the week, so I just had the rest of the week. Yeah, Tuesday home. was the day where I had to go in, and oh. then that second one we get to choose. Okay. So yeah. I picked Friday because no one's in the no office. In. So, so if I, yeah, no one. Yeah. How's gonna? How are they gonna know? Yeah, I'll, I'll go in in the day. Was Wednesday. So mm-hmm. then you could do, you could choose whichever day around that. So what was, what do you do for work? I work in compliance. Okay, cool. So compliance monitoring. So or well, like what KYC and all of that stuff. Not really so much know your customer, but mine's more like so. Imagine the FCA. Okay, yeah. So you know, there's some firms that want to be regulated by the FCA, uh-huh. but before they because maybe what do they need? Maybe they need something, or they don't want to be fully authorized yet. Uh-huh. They will be authorized by us who is a principal firm. Okay. So they're like they're almost like under the umbrella of our FCA uh-huh. code or whatever. Okay. And then when they want to maybe when they get bigger when they're fully ready, then they now go. Oh, the okay. So almost like kind of preparing themselves to yes. be regulated. But they are regulated. They That's are the regulated but... because they're under us. Okay. So we do all their compliance. So okay. we'll do all their like FCA um reporting and stuff on their behalf. But if they, for instance, you know, like with FCA, there's like mm. fines and yes. stuff. Yes, if they do breaches, anything crazy, do you find well, them? we get the, we will still find them because we have to report to the FCA. So what, if they do anything crazy, we'll say, hi, FCA, this firm's done something crazy. They're under us. Uh-huh. Don't come and shout on us because we will get shouted at okay. as well. Because okay. they're oh, we're right. supposed to be making sure they're compliant. Oh, wow. So yeah, we're literally at the umbrella for certain firms. And so what do you do? Are you consulting for them? Are you... Not consulting. So I'm doing their monitoring. So I will, they will now send me like... Their... Like breaches, whatever yeah. things. Anything. Okay. So that if they have any breach, so I'll go through like their breaches register. If they have any complaints, I'll go through that. They'll send me their, um, they'll send me their financials. Uh-huh. So we see if their business is doing well, if it's doing terribly, if they've got any issues, have they got any random um, money coming in on their bank statements? Uh-huh. So we'll what, do that. Is this on the risk? Call it compliance and risk. Yeah, because this is kind of what I was doing, isn't it? Because I'm a risk analyst, and uh, basically, uh, uh, this sounds like a lot of the work that I was kind of doing. Yeah, yeah. well, people were doing it. Yeah, and when once they reach a a breach and stuff, is like I'm notified, isn't it? Essentially, okay, so almost like an audit, but not. Okay, cool. On your side. Well, no, I'm not really audit. Basically, my vibe was there were credit limits set in place. Yeah. And in order to be in certain credit limits, they mm-hmm. were uh, basically certain um, um, things that were put in place by mm. the FCA. I think it in, but this was in America, so it was okay. the American equivalent. Um, what are they called again? They're called... Yeah, they're, I think so. Oh, some... Is it O? Some O, oh, I think. Uh, FCA... Um, SEC? F- FCC. SEC. Is it FCC? SEC, yeah, yeah, FCC. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, FCC. and I think they've got another one anyway. The, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but my vibe is I'm fighting for those limits to be in place. So okay, I basically go and justify, uh, create credit reports to justify as to why we should keep these limits in place. Jesus Christ. It? But it's all in a, that, go on camera. <laughs> This is what he does. Hey, <laughs> this, I don't think you're gonna see it, but if you watch it, you'll see. What do you mean? But slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In frames. Ah, that's, that's hilarious. What Look what you're doing. You're smiling. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw your post. In fact, because you, you mentioned uh, basically, why can't you just do something that you love? That I love. Why can't I just? do What do you love? You know what I love? I love food. Uh-huh. I love creating content. I love social media. I love doing things. Do you? I do. do you really love social media? Like, I love social media as in creating content for social media. I don't really care. When I say I lo- I wouldn't say I love social media like that, but I love creating content for social media. So I like being able to just post things. Mm-hmm. If I see something that I like in a shop and I can post it, someone else can just easily... Basically, I'm helping you without you ever having to do any work. Uh-huh. So I become your brain. Uh-huh. So you see a thing in a shop uh-huh. and then all you have to do now is just go online and buy it because... I've seen Lucy's, said, yeah, I've, I've seen Lucy's got it. Lucy uh-huh. likes it. We're about the same similar sizes. Uh-huh. Bye. Simple. Done. Uh-huh. So that's what that's the part of social media that, that I like. People might message me stuff about baby things or ask me a question or my push there or my personal like 
Your push what? Push chair, like the prams. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. So I like being, I like people, I like being the internet useful friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like being the internet's friend without there being, but there's boundaries. Do you get bad comments? Very rarely. That's good. Very, very rarely. I might just get something like, oh, I don't like that. Or this doesn't suit your body shape. Or that's not a bad comment though. These these are cons- that's constructive criticism. Yeah, it's constructive. Or <laughs> keep your thoughts to yourself. But- yeah, keep your thoughts to yourself. Oh, one yeah. of them on TikTok was like, oh, you need to slow down. You need to slow down your videos. I think you're recording them too fast or something. And I just thought, no, these are not bad comments though. I've seen some horror stories. Nah, I don't really get horrible comments. No, I was. Saying- I feel like you're on a good space. As in, like, I'm on a good see- space. I don't. You know what? I don't tend to talk about things that I don't know about. Mm-hmm. That's. Cool. I don't try to because even <laughs> my mom uh-huh. said something when I was ranting and raving yesterday. I said I want to leave my job. I want to do something else. And my mom was like, "Are you white?" <laughs> she said, and I just said I can't even put that on Instagram uh-huh. because I just there's white people and there's black people on my uh-huh. Instagram. And I just thought this is gonna just get too political because what does that mean now? But so I just left that out. But my mom was like. Get a grip. No, you're not going to leave your job. But are you white? Uh-huh. Like, only white people can get away with just leaving their job and uh-huh. thinking they'll find some. They'll find something. Uh-huh. They're not going to be out of job for so long thinking, oh no, what's going to happen? So I say that to say, <laughs> where, the, where was I going with that? I say that to say, where was? Where was no way. So uh, you're, you're saying you you make content, yes. and ideally you're going around uh, helping people, mm-hmm. and uh, basically mm-hmm. you <laughs> want to kind of ideally you'd have this as your career. Yes. And your mum's thinking that you haven't got the privilege to just do this and <laughs> and just quit work and quit just work. be doing yeah. this. She said, basically, the thing is, she just said, you can't quit work without having something else. And I was never going to just quit work. Yeah, that work. makes sense, yeah. That's just dumb. Yeah. I'm too scared for that. I have a mortgage to pay. You'll be surprised. God will just people bless you. People do it, no, but people do it. God, I feel like God people wants do people to do that, but people do it I, a lot. I can't do that, yeah. I'm too scared. Yeah. I'm too scared. because. But you shouldn't month, be, you know why? Because you're a you woman with a child. Not even by the faith. I've never seen women with children on the streets. Is it? <laughs> the people I see on the streets, they are men or women with drug habits. <laughs> yeah. You don't see women with a child on the streets. Yeah, there's no Absolutely. woman on the child. Are you crazy? No. Somebody will just give her the bread. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Yeah. You don't see women on the child in the streets. You don't. But so the reason I would, if I was a woman, I would definitely quit my job and cry some shit. Are you crazy? You know Especially crazy. an attractive woman at that. <laughs> it's yeah. that's true. Or, you will never see a hottie on the streets. Never. <laughs> Impossible. What for? Somebody will whip yeah. her up. And that's it. She's now rich and she's now, she's now living her best oh, life. Oh, night. 20 bags, somebody will just Someone's drop her. Someone's going to her. That's, that's the end of that. It's as simple as that. But I feel like, what do I love? I just really just, I, you know what it is? Since having a baby, uh-huh. you just feel like your time is so precious that, why am I just doing a job just to pay bills? Yeah, facts. Like it's just a, it is just a nine to five. And it's a good, to nine, mm-hmm. good nine to five. You get paid a, a nice, I feel like working in compliance, you get paid a nice mm-hmm. amount. But it's just almost like, there's people in this life that do so much more uh-huh. and they do jobs that they love uh-huh. and they get paid for it. So I give an example of like basketball players, singers, uh-huh. all those kind of people. But then even the social media contact, um, content creators, that sometimes I just look at their, their content and their, the, the things that they buy and stuff. And I just think, you're doing what you love and you can go to buy yeah. whatever you like. Yeah. Like, you don't have a manager that's screaming at you and giving you deadlines. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I, I struggle with that all the time. Certain times I'll just be look, I, looking yeah, at some of the work I'm doing. Like, for instance, there's one you get fulfillment in your actual job role, feeling as though you're adding value to the world. Yes. Uh, that, that's a lovely feeling. Yeah. What? And then when you're looking at it, you're like, like, one, in terms of somebody, some guy over here that's playing PlayStation has managed <laughs> to... My actual whole wage yeah. he is just yeah. on, more on something YouTube. within it. On YouTube. And so there's like, YouTubers that just make money from doing what? <laughs> Gamers piss off. I just think to myself, they're just doing things that they love. There's nothing, they haven't got two heads. There's nothing crazy about it. But since having a baby, you literally just think, my time is so precious. Why can't I just do something that I love? Mm-hmm. And do you get to work from home a lot now? We do, to be honest. Uh-huh. I do actually get to work from home, so which is, that's still great. So I can't complain about that. I don't know. I'm in a weird space and I kind of need to just get over it. Are you back this month for... Uh, or... End of August. End of August. Yeah. Oh, wow. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> August, ignore him. Ignore him. It's Don't funny because I, I play a little game of your content. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Which is, you wear something, I'm like, she's going to like this one. <laughs> she's not going to like this one. <laughs> <laughs> what would I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I like this one. I'm, no, there, there's, a, there's some... There's one style that you love that oh. I just know. Every single time it comes you? up, you, I, I, I was like, 100% she's going to like this one. Because bear of them look exactly the same. 
There's some sort of shawl thing that makes you look angelic. Oh! Uh, that is one. Anytime you get one that's a bit figure hugging, yeah. you love it each and every time, isn't it? <laughs> That's so funny. What's she thinking? <laughs> She's gonna love it. She, and then I'm there, and there I am, like I love this. Yeah, yeah this is me. Yeah, no, yeah, not a fan like, of this one. Not, not a fan, fan of this one. one. And in your head, I thought I knew she wasn't gonna be a fan of this one. Oh, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like just doing something because it even sometimes my brain just stems down to getting a bit too like too deep. But sometimes I just feel like, what is my God given talent? Mm-hmm. And I remember there was a time when I was really struggling with what is my talent because God gives everyone a talent, but what is mine? <laughs> Wait. And I just thought, like, if I die and God is like, your talent was this, and I'm going to be like, that was it this whole time. Well, what, what do you feel like you... Well, I guess uh, I guess that's... Uh, currently, right now, it has to be something. Maybe being it sociable. Be, I feel like, it, yeah, personable. being a sociable, personable person, but what if it's not that? Yeah, but you should know what your talent is. Does everyone know what their talent is, though? Uh, their God-given one, not just my talent, as in... Well, it's one. Then you, if you don't know what your talent is, then you just have to just live life until you find something that you're just. Because I feel like a talent, technically, it means you should be really, really good at it. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you have to find that thing, whatever makes you better than everybody else, isn't it? It might be a personality thing. Maybe that's why it, it's it working. It could literally just be a personality thing, you know. And I could, and then God will tell me, and I'll be like, that was it this whole time. Does anybody hate you? I feel like people probably secretly hate me, but I won't secretly. know. Yeah. I like, probably... do you, do you, is there anybody on the face of the earth right now, you reckon, that just despises you? Yeah. Okay, and why? <laughs> is it? Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> wait, 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 this part won't come out. Okay. Does he hate you? No. Who, my ex? Uh, yeah. No, not even Who's him. That, but who no, is not even him. Not even him. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you laugh like that? Who is this person that hates you? What did you do to them? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? Ladies and gentlemen, this part of the conversation is too spicy to come out. I'm sure there's people that dislike me, but I won't. I won't know them. Uh-huh. I'm, pe- I'm sure there's people on my Instagram probably that dislike dislike me, but people still follow people that they don't like. That's it's not weird. Yeah, that's crazy. People like, I don't like have you girl. have you followed anybody that you don't? I like? have, and then yeah. I thought I have, and I thought why am I following her? So I unfollowed her. Yeah. I thought there was well, who was she? <laughs> <laughs> there's a few people on my Instagram that I think you're annoying, and it's not even like I don't like them. I just think you're annoying me. Uh-huh. But I feel like, why am I feeling negativity to a person that doesn't know I exist? Mm-hmm. Just unfollow them. Yeah, facts. It's not that deep. Yeah, but why did you follow them to begin with? I probably followed them and I thought they were fine. Oh, okay. But then it could just be, you know what? what and human then you beings, start seeing some shit and you're like, you just thought, yeah. no, I don't know, I don't buy it. Or just things that maybe they're doing really well or things are, that are happening for them that you want to happen for you and uh-huh. you're kind of like, that's not fair. This uh-huh. is annoying me. Then you kind of become, you get oh, to wait, a weird, hey. yeah, yeah you, you get to a weird jealous, oh, yeah. jealous point where you're thinking, they don't even know I exist. Uh-huh. So just don't follow them. It's not that serious. Now, okay. Obviously this part, you know what's crazy? Because like I said, yeah. the, I'm more interested in the actual conversation than I actually am in the actual content, isn't it? Okay, cool. So one of the th- Have you pooed? Now, you pooed? Have you pooed? Change it. Have you pooed? You little monster. I forgot I can smell him. Yeah, one of the things I'm uh, quite interested in is... Yes. So, what age uh, did you meet your current uh, husband? I met him at 30. 30. But I knew him from before. We okay. were friends before, yes. So, my ex knew he existed. Oh, my God. How does he feel about that? He said, at the time when I started saying I was going to like start talking to him, he was like, oh, you're just using him as a rebound. I thought, either way, whatever I'm using him for is too late for you. Because <laughs> you didn't do what you needed to do, babes. He knew it. He knew he existed. And he was like, but he didn't fancy me. Or uh-huh. no, I didn't know if he fancied me. But he kept saying, no, I think he fancies you. And I'm thinking, no, he doesn't. Please. He thinks I'm a loud, crazy hooligan. Uh-huh. He doesn't fancy me. Where do you meet him? In the church? No. He met, he first ever laid eyes on me. Do you remember Runway? Oh, the, the Runway. Club. No, the club. Runway in central London somewhere. No, no. I didn't really go out that much. Oh, didn't you? No, no, You weren't really. a clubber? No, no, really. We were clubbers. But yeah. <laughs> It's a small poo, nothing crazy. It's a small poo. <laughs> it's a small poo, isn't it? Yay! Yeah. Um, luckily, I bought these because I knew this anything could happen. Um, so yeah, we knew each other from. I probably knew him five years or five, probably five years before we actually got together. Mm-hmm. So we were just cool. Then he started saying that he was fancying me. I was thinking, oh, 
Okay, I didn't know I was your kind of type, but... Wait, so wait, and but did your ex predict that he liked you before... He said he, 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 like, he, said he was saying, oh, yeah, you sure he doesn't fancy you? And I was thinking, no, he doesn't. Like, yes. Based on what? Why would he say that? Because he used to invite me and Stephanie, like, out to his birthdays and stuff, because they had money and uh-huh. they used to go to re- all these nice, fancy restaurants. And they say, he, he used to invite us, me and Stephanie, to come. Uh-huh. But we were just like, no, he doesn't like us. Like, he what, like, invites you to come and pays for you guys? No, he'll pay for us, of course. What, for, come out for his birthday yeah. and then he... But if he, like if he's having a restaurant dinner or something. Okay. And then he would say, like, oh, just come. He'll invite us. Uh-huh. Or he was, or they might say they're going out tonight. Do we, do we want to go? Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. So obviously me and Stephanie will be like, please, it's a free night. Let's be going. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this part of the conversation is too spicy to come out. Wait, is he Nigerian? Yeah, of course he is. Uh, he's that, that... Half, his, his mum's Ibo and his dad's from Yoruba, so he's half and half. But I was just like, based on these promises that I don't... We've, I've never known you on a dating level. Like, I've known you cool as a friend, uh-huh. but you're telling me to just leave him based on your promises. And I, the so time was just like... I find a, a man's love, <laughs> like, in terms of the way guys love, I find interesting. Because really? You know what I find interesting? Because certain times I even have to question myself. Like, <laughs> like certain times you will like a taken girl, yeah? Yeah. And it's like, you know that every single night, that this girl was getting caned yes, yeah, exactly. by somebody else, yep, isn't it? Yep. But you don't even care. You still you, you still, still love her. her pants yep. and want her. Yeah, you still want her. Even, but yeah, that's what was doing him because he was like, every time I'm talking to you, you're actually going back and having sex with this guy <laughs> and I'm furious about this. But he still wanted me, uh-huh. which is crazy. And I just thought, but at the time I just thought, I can't just leave him based on these promises. Like, I had to leave my ex on my own. Uh-huh. And obviously I did. So when I yeah, did... Yeah, that's good. I left him on my own. My own, not, on, not, not based on his promises. And then at the time when I did say I've left him, he was like, well, I'm not going to be a bachelor forever. I said, really, did you? <laughs> and then we just started talking and we started dating. Went into lockdown. And we were like, if we can do lockdown together, I think we can... I'm sure we can get married. Oh, no, what's wrong? Yeah, do you want this? Well, so how long was you with him when, before you actually got... Before we got- actually got together. Mm-hmm. 2018, so I was 30. I would say before we actually got, and then we got engaged in 2022. Oh, wow. So not not that long not at that all. Not that long, no. And not that fast as well, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, not that fast and not There's that long. There's been faster ones, They're isn't all, 100%. it? hundred yeah. percent. We were in lockdown, so uh-huh. we couldn't even get engaged. So it was almost like, well, when we come out of lockdown. So I think when we came out of lockdown, he proposed. Mm-hmm. Because I think, yeah, we were able to go to restaurants now because I was thinking, I don't want any proposal in the house, please. I remember dating was so easily during lockdown. Of course it must have been. There was nowhere to go. Fam, you can don't go be talking, on I'm talking on the phone for hours. Just bring a Snickers. She'll be happy. <laughs> Outside of your car. <laughs> there, nothing was open. Yeah, uh, it was a vibe. That was it. Apart Take from a- Hyatt. <laughs> <laughs> was Hyatt open? Hyatt was open throughout the whole of lockdown. Are they mad? The whole of... That's why they even expanded and became bigger. Oh they were gosh. open throughout the whole of lockdown. They, did, they didn't give a F about nothing. Were people I, going, though? What? That's how high is so big now. I remember, really? I was thinking, this is so illegal. This is while so it was illegal. happening. Mad. But the way they had their operation, they had the shutters down and oh, stuff. Oh, people were, like, going in secretly. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I walked in So you wouldn't have known it was clo- um, open. Yeah. Because if you knew, you knew. Yeah, everyone was breaking the law. The security were like, yeah, yeah. So like, wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. Like, it was, it was, it was, like, them. It was crazy. They would trouble. But okay, even okay. they're having their own little uh, uh, problems uh, now. Are they? Yeah, hundred right. percent. As because they keep them, they're rule breakers. They, they are rule put, breakers. one of them even lost their license. Is still o- operating right now. Oh, piss off. The, the Greenwich one is uh, still open oh. uh, right now. It's supposed to be closed. Yeah, it's supposed to be closed. It's, it's still open, man. They're sick. Okay. Listen, now, you want to sleep? You want to sleep? Okay. What do you feel as though uh, motherhood has done to you? <laughs> this is this is beautiful. <laughs> this, is, this is what it's done to me, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> August, please look, 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 look. Can we not show the breast to the world? Can we? Can we just keep the breast between me and you? Yes, we must. Sleep. Every little thing that we do. And how old is uh, your husband? He is. So I'm 35. He is 37. Oh well, okay. So, but yeah, I'm gonna be 36 this year. So, like, a year, uh-huh. a year, a year above me. Oh, that's a vibe. So, okay, you asked me, what do I? What's changed me? Yeah. You know what? I feel like what's changed me. I feel like I'm more patient. Are you? Yeah, I am. Because even my my husband says it. My sister says it. She's like, you've actually become a bit more patient. Like I think I used to be very like, not not patient before. Uh-huh. What's the word for not patient? Impatient. Imp- uh-huh. <laughs> I feel 
feel like I'm a bit more patient because sometimes when August is crying, I'll just be thinking, I'm quite calm. Mm-hmm. I'm quite calm yeah. and I just think, okay, he's going to calm down. He's going to... But I feel it's made me more patient, mm-hmm. definitely. And I'm trying to be more selfless because I'm trying to... I am quite a self I think naturally, person. though, you have to be yeah, selfless. You do, you do. I feel like... But then there's some moms that aren't. Mm-hmm. But hello, <laughs> But I feel like I'm just trying to be more selfless because I feel like you only had, I only had me to think about. Mm-hmm. And I was a very selfish person. Everyone says, oh, even my sister, brothers and sisters, and you're so selfish. All you do is think about yourself. And my friends will say the same. But I just feel like... Okay. Bruh, well, well, and you agreed that you were selfish. I could see where they were coming from. <laughs> that means you were selfish. But I wasn't angry about it. It was uh-huh. almost like, because even when I argue with my husband sometimes, and he was like, you're so selfish. I'm thinking, okay, what's new? I know this. <laughs> I'm not offended by it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm not. It's not. Wait, give me cause... an example of what a, what situation they'll be like. Nah, you're selfish. It's like you want to go somewhere. Okay, you make sure you go, and then let's just say, for example, I think what happened. There was a time I think before lockdown when uh-huh. my husband's car broke down, and he said I had to come and like pick him up from where he broke down, uh-huh. and I was just like, why? Can't you just jump in the Uber and come back home? Uh-huh. And he was like. So this is what I mean this, this is selfish You know that this is selfish behaviour If you broke down I would find you Come and drive to you And I'm, in my head I'm thinking Well I'm a damsel in distress Of course you have to do uh-huh. that But I just thought This is annoying I'm at home chilling And now you've inconvenienced me Out of my chilling uh-huh. And now I have to come and uh, Okay get yeah to selfish you. Yeah Yeah <laughs> So there's, there's a few examples I can use, but that one's the one that just came to my have you, mind. Have you taken the bin out? When's the last time you've taken the bin out? I don't say the bin out The men take the bin out I mean like When's the last time in life You've ever taken the bin out? I take the recycling out all the time. What does that mean? You mean like push it? No, <laughs> as in if that can, I can is finished, yeah. I'm taking it to the recycling bin. Oh, okay, cool. So I go to the bin. Okay. But I feel like okay. the bin is the man's job, boys. Yeah, not. fair news, isn't it? But I, I just, I, I get a vibe of like, for instance, like you add stuff to the bin. No. <laughs> and knowing that it's fully overflowed. No, that's and you won't tie up. No, 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 that's dumb. <laughs> if it's, I will. I would no, no, no. That's dumb. If it's fully overflowed, yes, no. Like, but I'm saying if you've never taken the bin out, then don't tell me that you've that that basically that because it's either a case of you've taken the bin out when it was overflowed before, or you haven't. Which I means haven't. yeah. So which means you've added you you've seen the bin before a bit too full, and it should be taken now. And you're like, oh, I wonder when he's gonna do it. Essentially, but he never gets that full. Okay. I feel like he's always he's quite on the bin job, uh, so he's always he's yeah. always like he's never like piling and piling, and uh, I'm just like this is dumb. Now I have to take it out, and I'm irritated. Because I speak to a lot of men, a lot of men, they certain of these guys, and some of the guys are struggling with it. They're like, really? yo, they're like, yo, am I the bin man? As in, like, what? they'll do <laughs> people do things like the bin is clearly over. That's dumb. They're, we're gonna wait till he comes back That's until dumb. he does it. That's dumb. Some of them might That's even dumb. lift it up, put the new bin back <laughs> inside, but leave it. and leave it there just to take it out. That's dumb. Yeah. That's, you can just take it outside. <laughs> You're doing the most. What's wrong? <laughs> you don't want boobs. You don't want boobs. Oh, that's jokes. But they're, they're doing the most. But the taking the bin out is actually, I don't know, I think Instagram has just made it a bin, a man's job. Uh-huh. Because when I was living alone, I took the bin out myself and I didn't die. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's, facts. it's absolutely fine. You can take well, the bin do you, out. And what's uh, the, do you do most of the cooking and stuff? We both, he can cook, I can cook. So yeah, we both, we share the cooking. Uh-huh. So I would He's say the cooking. Cook. You're going to say him, innit? He's a very good cook though. I feel like some guys can cook and it's just yeah, like... Yeah, I took culinary yes, a culinary. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can proper cook? Yeah, proper cook. What I know how to cook, I can do to a sick level. Like a proper level. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about my cooking. Yeah, man, I'm cold. I'm so you didn't bring any cooking. food for me today? Cause... Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's worried I should now start shivering and hey, bring food. And plus, I asked you, you said you wanted... Uh, it's true to me, yeah. You told me what it's you wanted, didn't it? It's true you brought it. It's what you delivered. You know what? Um, there's guys that can cook and you can eat it and it's edible. Uh-huh. But there's guys that can cook and you think, Excuse me? Yeah. This is... This is I did mine intentionally, you know. Oh, did In you? fact, it's actually quite toxic. My vibe was, I want my child, yeah, yeah and, I, and I would want my wife... Yes. Uh, ...to be motivated by the fact that they, my children say, no, mommy, we want daddy to... <laughs> And then, and, and then she'll pattern up. That was always been my You're joking. Yeah, that's always been my mentality. I want them. I what want. If I get, what if her cooking's already banging? It might be banging, but I want it. So if it's already banging, then it's yeah. like cool. Then everybody wins. Everyone, the whole household win. wins. Yeah, win, 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 win. But I would want to. No, mommy, we want daddy, uh, daddy to cook. <laughs> I need a 
funny that is. The fact that you thought of that. And I got lessons from, from two really, really, really good chefs, isn't it? Our levels as well, isn't it? And my, my, my food doesn't only taste good. It the garnish good. is uh, done the, uh, the proper as well. Yeah, yeah. The broccoli and the... <laughs> yeah. And uh, the the caster sugar and all that stuff is not the desserts and shit. Yeah, Can man. You? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proper. What's your best dish? What's your best dish? Uh, you like? Mongolian says- chicken and pasta. Everyone, anyone that has tried my food will say that one over there is bangs, that. isn't it? It's 10 out of yeah. 10. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's the vibe, man. No, a man that can cook. So I'm, August is going to be able to cook because I just think a man that can cook. I just, I remember when Deji cooked me my first meal for me. And I said, my brain just said, when I get pregnant, I'm not going to die. I mean, <laughs> he can cook. Not that, because I have some friends that they will now be slaving and heavily pregnant because their husbands can't cook a thing. Yeah, well, I'm to deliver her. What? That's an actual... Listen, it's one of... If they have a Nigerian husband, they're not going to always want to deliver rude. But, but I'm saying in terms of that is better than, than eating food that you don't it's have not to... It's Yeah, yeah. but still, I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that than eat food that's of a low st- standard just for the sake of it. What are we? We're not animals. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> that should <laughs> be eating <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll rather bang the living room, innit? As opposed to... Free. Eating, yeah, but still, it's then someone needs to pattern up and learn how to cook properly. Yeah, there. true. Very, very true. So I feel like a man that can cook is a is a 10 out of 10 bonus fantastic thing. Well, did Absolutely. you get any uh, um, uh, cravings uh, during your... You know what? I didn't. Uh-huh. I really was so surprised. I feel like I, I wanted one. I didn't get, <laughs> you wanted a craving. I didn't, get, I didn't get any. Like, I ate everything. I, the only thing I would probably get... Say, oh, I that's got, why you weren't craving nothing. No. You were eating everything. I was eating everything. <laughs> Nothing was craving uh-huh. me. Like, I wasn't, it was like, oh, when you have cravings, you just can't sleep and you need to eat it. I didn't have a single craving. Everything was fine. Wait, you see, uh, and uh, obviously, uh, what age do you reckon you were like, no, I need to get married? I think, you know what, from from the ages of 28, 28, 28, 29, 30 is when you're like, okay, no, this is serious now. Because when you're 16, <laughs> you're like, I'm going to get married when I'm 20. Uh-huh. You know, that's a, that's a lie. But from the ages of 28, 27, 28, 29, you're kind of like, um, okay, I look crazy now. Especially if you're with someone. I look crazy now. Uh, Especially yeah. if you're with someone. If you're not with anyone, then how can you look crazy? There's no boyfriend to do. Everyone has their own challenges. When and everyone has their own, yes. Everyone's asking you, hey, who is this Who's, person? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Who are you with? Are you dating someone? Now the other challenge is, when is this person going to marry you? How, you've been together for 10 oh. years. So that kind of thing. So I feel like it, dep- it all depends. Do you feel so? At, at one point, chiki, 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 at one chiki, point, chiki, do you chiki. go from... Do you go from having a lot of standards, yeah, and a lot of, oh, they need to do this, do that, to... Lowering them. Not even lowering them, but literally just accepting anybody that wants to marry you. No, that's madness. <laughs> because then you're settling. <laughs> that means you just settled. And that, the uh-huh. likelihood of that working out is mm, uh-huh. very low. Because uh-huh. you've had, you had standards that were here. And now you're just kind of like, I will marry a dog. But I, you know what? I, I find that with a lot of girls. I find that as long as they've got their <laughs> first wedding out of the way, they are calm. Some girls just need that first wedding. What do you mean first wedding? As in, for instance, there are certain girls that what they want is a marriage. Now, yeah, okay. they marry, they're happy to divorce, and now they're just, they're back to normal. Stella's got a groove back now, isn't it? Yeah? Who are these people? Oh, well, fam, they're about. You come on, how many, how many divorces do you know? One. You only know one divorce. Person, like a personal person that I know. Yeah, one. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. one. Uh, is she in a rush to get married again? I'm saying that. No, I wouldn't say. Okay, yeah, all that pressure is removed now I know because she. she's got the. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is nine times out of ten. Yeah. After they get that, they get married one time. Now, obviously, you could you could see it as oh, growth. They've learned that there's yes, more important yes, things, yes. isn't it? But nine times out of ten, the vibe seems to be. You think? Girl, it's almost like girls turn like say 27. They want their wedding. They want yes. their wedding. They they will marry anybody. Yeah. I've, I've, there's certain girls that wanted to marry me. I'm like, darling. No. I'm saying, darling. You do not like me. I, <laughs> like, I know you. you. Marry me, please. I, I know you. I know your type. Yes. I've I'm always been here, innit? Yeah. yeah. So you think it's convenient. Yeah, no. What you're doing is you just want to get married right now and you've decided you don't even like me, isn't it? And it's one of those ones. You see them, they go off, they get married, oh. boom, 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 divorce now. No. And now they're back on the streets, but they're calm. They, they're back because to they're themselves. Married. No, because they've had it already. Yeah, so they don't care it's for calm. it anymore. 
So yeah. do, they, do they still want to get married again? No, they'll still get married, but now they're realizing it makes sense to actually find someone that I'm actively compatible That's with. Isn't it? though. Bear of them do that. Bear of them Are do you that. Hundred sure? percent. What two things happen to a lot of girls? One of them is either they get married, yes, or they have their youths, yes, and then it just relaxes them. Fine. For, okay, in, so I've got my cause, kids. Cause, and it makes sense because nine, nine times out of ten, the stress in life for girls is to have, have things figured out. My, mom, yeah. my mom's at the point where my sister's like, just have kids. doesn't matter where the man is from. Even if, you, if the man leaves you or you leave him, it doesn't matter. Just have yeah, your kids. Even my, my mom uh, told me, as in uh, my, my auntie and my mom on a vibe of, her dummy man, just come on, man, give me, have some children. No, they didn't say just have children. This is me. Are you not hearing what you're saying over here, isn't it? Because if I give you kids right now, don't be telling me about forcing a wedding that you want me yeah, to have with these married. women. Yeah. Yes, that's the about. Bit. So they're, you're thinking that they're going through having the first wedding. Yeah. And now that they know that, okay, I just married him, had my kids. I got I married already. I had yeah. my big wedding. I've had come. That's not. That can't be a thing. It, it's definitely a thing. Because I know I'm not marrying again. August, sleep if you want to sleep. Oh, so some marry again, but they marry this time, and this one usually works because it's under the right conditions now, isn't it? They're not letting society force them into a marriage, isn't it? There's bare girls that are getting married. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, there's bare girls that are getting married because of the actual age of it and not for the actual love. And then they get into the marriage, they realize, F this. I hate him. Come out of it. I hate him. I they, hate this. They, they come this out of it and then they're back to themselves normally again. And then it's like, okay, cool, come. Yeah, 100%. That's, uh, that's exactly what, what's going on. I just I'm one and done. I'm do do you love your husband? Of course I do. What do you mean? Of course I do. Do you, do you love your ex? Never mind. This part won't come in. Eh? I thought I did. Do you love him now? No. Okay. Cool. No, fair enough. I thought I did at the time. You think that's love? Oh, but look you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. My little friend. Yeah. Um, at the time, I thought this is love, but it's when I look look when I know look back at it mm-hmm. and now being in this relationship I'm like that's not love mm-hmm. we were, it was probably more just lust and infatuation mm-hmm. because you just kind of feel like there's so many things that my husband now does for me that my ex could never mm-hmm. and I thought holidays and taking me to nice restaurants and stuff was love and it's just not it's just play you're, you're being a kid it's childish at the time well wait okay versus what holidays yeah. and restaurants versus versus somebody that actually shows that they love you literally as in it's clear to anyone that can see that this person loves you, like uh-huh. he will do, he will. He, the thing is with my husband, he's selfless. Uh-huh. Like he will do things. Even me, I'll be like, "You're doing the most. It's okay, it's not that deep." Uh-huh. Because he's just a very caring and selfless person. Uh-huh. That's just his. That's his character. If, like I said, there's things that he does, and I just think, well, "If it was me, I wouldn't do it." But okay, it's, you. <laughs> it's up to you. Just, <laughs> yeah. If you like doing it, that's fine. Uh-huh. Just, just things like I can't even explain. Just, just things in his character that he just he always puts me first, and he always uh-huh. considers me. In any time, in any situation, at like any point, like, oh, let me just double check with Lucy or let me see if Lucy, if that's okay with Lucy. And I've been married. I've had to learn that because I'm quote unquote so selfish before. Mm-hmm. I have to be like, oh, I actually have to double check with Lucy to make sure that's actually okay. Mm. But he, he's always considered me, always thinks about me. That's first. a bad man. That's a good, that's yeah, a good guy, he's man. A very good, he's, a, he's a very, very, very well, good guy. Do you reckon you would have had it if he, if he wasn't as considerate as he was, mm. you think you would have been calm with it? Because it seemed as though you're kind of shocked by his consideration. I am, I, the thing is, I am because I wasn't used to it in my other relationship. We were just like, mm, yeah, whatever. So you, it's you one know. of those ones. Like, we're just cool. Uh, and things were fine. Uh-huh. But this person actually shows me so much affection and emotion. Because sometimes he's like, you Lucy, you don't show, you don't show love. Uh-huh. And maybe because in my previous relationships, I've just been like, we've just been so like pally pally and so uh-huh. friendly and dumb. We haven't, I haven't really been shown emotional love. Uh-huh. So he shows that and it's clear. Anyone that like what that. though? How is it? Um, has he ever just looked you in the eyes and said, "Lucy, I love you so much"? <laughs> like <laughs> the thing is, he does he, he he wouldn't say it like that, but I know he does. He just he oozes the love. I can see it in his eyes. Have he you woken up me. before and he just looks at you like, "Oh my god"? In the beginning stages, he would just stare. Uh-huh. At, he used to just stare at me. I'm thinking, "Can you stop making staring at me because you're making me shine out?" Because uh-huh. when you looking in my eyes, I can just tell when he's. Sometimes I can just see when he's looking at me. You know, when you, someone you can tell when someone's looking at you because you're thinking. You're obsessed with me. Uh, that's fine. I'm obsessed with me too. Uh, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I I know I mean it's hard to explain. But I think because I've just had so much tough love or just very friendly love, uh-huh. his is very shown. Uh-huh. His is very like obvious to me. Like I can see like, well, this is what love is supposed to be. 
Oh. Well, do you reckon that uh, your um, ch- child, August, has made you guys love each other more? Has it made us love each other more? Hey, be careful, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> would I say it's made us love each other more? I don't know if it would, I would say it's made us love each other more. I feel like the love is, the love is just all around. The now. love has created him. Yeah, and I feel like the love is just in the room. Uh-huh. So it's like, I wouldn't say I love him more, he loves me more. I feel like we just look at each other and we see love because we've mm. got this little person. Like, it's just like, oh, And it's like a shared interest that we both. Yeah, like we both have a shared interest in making sure that everything is fine with him. Mm-hmm. He's okay. Like he's very involved. Like mm-hmm. I can't just give August something and. And be like, yeah, it's fine. He'll Google, he'll do his research and be like, Oh wow, that's a vibe. No, you can't. That's his what does he do for a living? He works. So he does he he used to sell buy and sell cars and now he does Buy and sell looks, cars, okay, yeah. Yeah, and now he does Entrepreneur vibes. Yeah, okay. basically. And now he um he has a few Airbnbs mm-hmm. that he rents out and just looks after those. Okay, that's a vibe. Yeah, so that's what he does. So he, he works from home, so he's more or less always at home. Well, so what what do you do, uh, uh for instance, if uh, basically his grind uh are you sticking around through, throughout poverty? Of course I have to. During lockdown, there was nothing coming in because there was standstill. Oh yeah, fair so news. That was it? a that was a clear. Um, okay, there's no money, but but yeah, but, uh, but obviously you haven't got the law of outside to go out to anywhere. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? It's different to be in poverty <laughs> when yeah, everybody else is still open. <laughs> yeah, it's different from being poverty if everything is closed. Yeah, so it's almost like well, nobody's going yeah, anywhere. Go, we can't even travel anyway. We can't travel anyway. So if you like leave, where are you leaving to? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. True, very true. No, but I feel like no, I'm, not, I'm there for ride or die. I'm not gonna. Mm-hmm. No, I've met. Somebody. Yeah, you have to as well, isn't it? Yeah. Plus, you're a Christian as well. I'm Christian, and I just feel like. Marriage is so sacred. I feel like nowadays we just see it as, well, if, if he's being stupid, you just leave him. There's there's obviously, there's levels to the being stupid uh-huh. and cheating and all the madness. I think there's definitely different stages of that. That's a topic for another time. But I think it's such a sacred thing that you shouldn't just throw it away so easily. Like a lot of things can just be worked on. Mm-hmm. Unless if in the beginning there was nothing, you just didn't really love that person in the first place. Mm-hmm. But I feel like a lot of things can be discussed communicated and worked on to be honest so i feel like well what what are things that would make somebody not bad well let's not even speak about your marriage yes what are things that would, yeah that would be, that is it just a violence is that uh, what is a, as a complete no as that's in, it that's a get out of the marriage i think violence and violence i think is abuse, one yeah. abuse, violence abuse domestic abuse um verbal abuse any kind of abuse, verbal abuse you, come on verbal, verbal abuse <laughs> is like chipping away at someone you know yeah if the person is like let's just say a woman like every time she wants to go out with her friend and he's just like oh, look at you horrible fat look at your belly <laughs> hideous and you're kind of like that's fine every time you're going out <laughs> okay, and you yes. feel like you're upset at nice. him that's, that's bullying that is bullying yeah. the whole husband <laughs> you're saying that's not that's verbal so abuse is, that's how can you live with somebody that exactly. does that exactly <laughs> every time piss off and you're going out thinking I'm going out with my friends and I look like a bad bee. And he's like, oh, fuck your belly. Are you wearing that? No. Have you experienced Never. that before? Is Never. That, okay, go on. Impossible. Never. I would that like, is, that is. Are you mad? Imagine so, somebody you're supposed to love you saying that to you. It's there's crazy. There's men out there, though. There is men out there. So verbal abuse, domestic abuse, abuse generally, I think, mm-hmm. is absolute no. Start beating is just... <laughs> the, the fact that you've even put your pimp, you've even put a, a uh-huh. hand on my hair, it's impossible. That That is a no. And then I think cheating to the point where you've now created another life, I'm out. Mm. Out. Out! I'm li- what, out. What if he just came somewhere and a girl yeah. took it? And- oh, and put it in her vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how the lady did it. The fact that you created another offspring while you were married to that person, so I'm not going to use myself, while you were married to that person, it's enough for me. What? You yeah, created but, another offspring in the marriage. But if you, even if you've got your own child with him. But that's not a point. No, but it's like now who really loses out? But imagine there's women that huh? don't have their child already and you've now created another offspring and the lady's still struggling to have. Yeah, that one is just... That's, 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 that's abuse for? as well, isn't that's it? That's abuse. Yeah. That's abuse. You've got out. You just, just marry the lady. I've seen leave. too many Tyler Perry movies <laughs> with, <laughs> with those nasty storylines, isn't it? Just leave him. <laughs> there's nothing to stay for. Sorry, or crying, or, you know. Just leave. Just so there's, there's, there's levels, but there's certain things in a marriage where you can discuss, talk about, and just see it through. But like I said, unless if you actually didn't like the person in the first place, it's, it's kind of like, mm. Now, how did you, how do you reckon you got your following on uh, social media? How did that even come around, come you about? Know what? I think after lockdown, I said, I'm going to be serious. I'm going to be intentional with this. Uh-huh. I'm going to 
push this and see where where I go. I'm just gonna see where I go. If in a year's time my following's grown, maybe this is meant to be for me. So and what's your technique of doing it? I was just posting. I was just creating content, buying clothes, trying them on, putting them on, on, on my videos, and then I think buying clothes and taking them back or keeping them. That doesn't need to be disclosed. What happens to those clothes? So. <laughs> Buy okay. the clothes, <laughs> them on. <laughs> to be fair, uh, it's, uh, yeah. the thing is, I feel like every influencer has to buy clothes and take them back. Because yeah, well, that's the whole point of it, no? Where would they put clothes? Yeah, but I'm saying, but your whole point, I'm, I'm assuming you'll keep the ones you like, of no? Of course, if there's some that you just think, this is banging, I Yeah, I'll keep it, yeah. Fine, but do you... No, I mean, there's no space. Uh-huh. You know how many times I do a video? And how much bulk... <laughs> even in the price of... The, let's just say the H&M haul I did recently, I think that shopping was like 600 and something pounds. Mm-hmm. That 600 stuck something pound is now going to out my account on just clothes. Uh-huh. And where is the space for this? Uh-huh. So I'm sure every influencer has to buy them and return them. But uh-huh. like I said, you keep what you keep and you return what you return. Yeah, facts. Essentially, I'm just showing you, I went into H&M. These are the things that I found uh-huh. and I like. Our bodies are similar. Uh-huh. You might like it too. Done. You go into H&M, you buy it. Finished. That's actually a beautiful idea. That's it. It's simple. It's simple. I get my money back. You buy the dress. Your body's happy in the dress. Finish. Well, if you want to change your body shape, what happens? Still the same thing. My body is now this. Do you lose? Uh, do you lose? Do you lose followers? Well, as it, <laughs> if no, your body because, yeah, mm, shape changes, your cha- But then, if your body shape changes, your style is going to change. Uh huh. So you might gain followers now because uh-huh. there's some people that won't follow me because we don't have the same body shape. Uh-huh. They might like my personality, uh-huh. but they don't have the same body shape as me. Okay. Or, and vice versa. They might just like my body shape, but they might not like me. Uh-huh. So Interesting. You might follow, most times you follow people that are similar to you. Because mm-hmm. if, if a girl was skinny, I wouldn't really follow her because if I bought something that she bought, I would be like... Yeah, two different dresses, one. isn't it? Yeah. So it's one of those things. But I think for me, after lockdown, started posting loads, buying clothes, trying them on, and then I think I grew from like a thousand to three k. From three k, I think I was growing at one thousand each day in lockdown. Like after lockdown, uh huh. I was going from one thousand. And what was the catalyst of that? Just because just posting, raw. It was lit, and it was everyone was like, "Lucy, what is happening?" Then I got to ten k, and I was just like, "Oh my god, it this was daily." Work. I swear to you, it was Tuesday, Wednesday. I wake up in the night, another k, and <laughs> another, another k. k, another. Yeah. K. I was like, me and Dad were looking at each other like, "What's going on?" Even the now the 18k because I was I was stuck in a limbo of 13,000 for a very long time and now it's just built itself back up. But mm-hmm. it's just posting. And I think at the time I was posting, I don't think you can really do this now, post every day. I was posting. I like, post every day. Do you? I post every day. Because they say apparently social media or Instagram yeah, knows. They, that you're posting. Yeah, they they stop. They they do some little things to restrict you. Yeah. I don't care anyway, innit? That's what they say. Because my vibe is none as my vibe is it's not necessarily um for vir- virality I'm doing it yes. I'm doing it for maybe the right person sees see something yeah. and an opportunity will just we'll come, come uh, via that True. way innit? yeah because they think everyone's just doing it to go viral yeah so at the time I was posting I think five days a week now I post like three so I might post oh because I'm posting seven days even I might have been doing five to seven days so I batch record on like a weekend uh-huh. then post Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday this shit's Friday. long innit huh as long as you've done your batch recording, you're cool for the week. So you do, you just have to plan yourself, uh, essentially. But now I will do four videos, post on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'm done. So okay. Do like four videos a week. It might seem like more, but at least you have to do four videos now a week. Fuck it, oh man. Yeah, but how long does it take you to actually post something? Because, you know, sometimes they want you to, they're saying it's good to add uh, what, captions and stuff. <sighs> they, how long is it? Because I record, I record on the actual app. So What's I actually up? record on Instagram. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I actually oh, use wow. the app the, to record on. The same like TikTok. I don't record and then post it mm-hmm. on, on there because then I don't have to edit anything. Okay. At least you record it while I'm on it, put it in the drafts, post. Oh, right, so that's so I bad. save a lot of time. Oh, so all of you leave it on drafts? Yep. Oh, oh good boy, August. Quiet since. Good boy. What time is it now, anyway? Birthday. Oh, that's calm. Yeah. So all this, yeah. He, I literally post it, record it, and put it on drafts. Once it's in the drafts, Monday post, Tuesday post, whatever. Nice and easy. Now, in terms of, uh, have you listen? Like I said, might not come in. Have you made any money from this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, rah, rah. I've done collaborations with Sainsbury's. I did. They'll pay me like a grand. 
what the fuck? People are getting paid. You stay there. People fucking are fucking doing what? People are getting paid. And even with that grind, you still have to go back and forth. And they, so one TikTok video. It has to be like deliverables do, and stuff. Deliverables. Yeah. Like they want to put, they want to use it for this. They want to use it for that. It's up to them. This guy's laughing. She's like, one thousand, yeah, I'm good. I'm lit. So <laughs> they were like, send me the clothes. And they say, can you do, <laughs> they'll ask me to do the video. It's serious. Ask me to do a video. Pay me for that. I've done match.com. I what, did, like dating? Yeah, they wanted me to like get ready with me. That was my first ever time on TikTok that they sent me an email and said, Oh, we want you to do this. This is a married ready. mother. They, they, they can't take my radio. I said, How are you going to take my radio? Because I thought, How's this going to work? So I had to be like, Hi, guys, I'm going on a date with somebody that I've never met before. Mm. And this is what I'm going to wear. I had to do a daytime look, a nighttime look. I get ready. They pay me 3K. What? There's money to be... Tell me, these influencers, I'm nobody. In the grand scheme, these and wait, influencers... Are, are you seeking these opportunities or they, they just come to you? They find me. They will email the me. F- only recently, only now, I've just been signed to a managing managing company. What the fuck? So now they should get the jobs for me. Uh, yes. But yeah, they they prior to that, they were coming to me. Wait, so how, how, how do these managing people... Oh, they're managed, they hit you up. You know, so the managers... So when you have a management company, they're literally your manager. So they uh-huh. will now... They will reach out to the... Pretty little things, mm-hmm. the Amazon, the whatever, mm-hmm. and say, "Oh, well, I have this client. She's really good. Um, she has this amount of following. She can shoot whatever, whatever." They'll say, "Okay, yeah, we want her. We're willing to pay her three k. Go back and forth. Yeah, three k, two five, whatever." And what they, percentage do the, the... they'll take twenty percent? Okay, that's all right. Yeah, they'll take especially they'll take for finding work and yeah. stuff, isn't it? They'll take a twenty percent, and then, um, but they literally find you. They'll find you all the jobs essentially. They find it for you. You say, "Yep." And then you go from there. So now all I have to just do is sit back and wait. And you'll get more jobs with them because obviously they have the portfolio. Oh, right. In fact, that reminds me of that. Yes. <coughs> what, what flavor do you want? I want you to try something on camera. Oh, okay. Yes, please. Okay. Now, this is a Ooh. flavored water. Oh. That's actually one of my friend's brands. It's in uh, Iceland now. Is it? Take a flavor. What flavors are they? What's that? Strawberry. Uh, peach and uh, um, lemon and lime. Um, Rudy Peach. Sweet. Now, I want to see you face this live on camera. Give me your actual thoughts, even if it's shit and it's dead, okay. isn't it? Be real. Be completely honest, isn't okay, it? Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. You're funny. You took your ring off. <laughs> Actually, because I just thought... Stupid idiots. They're so dumb. I thought, Why would they... you asking me? They clearly like... didn't watch your... Well, did you speak about your marriage or anything? No. Why does it... Um... I'm assuming I'm going to take my rings off. I'm not going to do... Get ready with me to go and meet a date. Meet a date with my rings. Uh, yeah. Then they said, oh, one of the videos can do can be me getting ready to go out with my husband. Oh, okay. Oh, and you told know, them you were... Hus- no, oh. they knew. Oh, okay. They would have known. I just thought... I guess it was an advert. And then I think somebody... Somebody messaged me. One of my followers messaged me like, Hi, Lucy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just saw a right. video. <laughs> I think Match.com are trying to make out like you're single and that you're not married or whatever. And I thought, it was a, it's an advert, babe. Uh-huh. I'm still married. It's okay. <laughs> it smells nice. Okay. It smells nice. Okay. So it has zero calories. Yeah, zero sugar as well. Make it marinate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Zero sugar. So then what's in it? Uh, interesting, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe that same thing that's in Diet Coke <laughs> and uh, one of these diet drinks. <laughs> it tastes like flavor. It tastes like um, what's that sugar thing that they use? That's not sugar. Um, sweetener. Sweetener, yes, yeah. Well, it says sweetener to be honest. So it's sweetener, not sugar. Yes, yeah, I don't know. It can't know. be because that's why. Yeah, that's but, why you can say zero sugar. Yeah, but it has no but sugar. Is sugar regardless, like it's glucose or whatever. Yeah, sweetener is not. Yeah, so whatever that is, I don't know. Is that even good or bad for you? I don't exactly. know, is it? It's nice though. It's very light. Mm. And there's something that happens when you taste it. It's like the taste kind of disappears or something. Like it, it it's doesn't. Like it's on your tongue. Yeah, and then that's it. And then it kind of fizzes it, off. And then it's watery <laughs> or something in it. Interesting, isn't it? No, this is nice. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I like it as well. Oh, that's a beautiful vibe. They're going to sponsor me now. Watch. <laughs> if I saw this in a shop, I would want that. And it's sugar free. So yeah, to the point where, in terms of, I'm actually addicted to it. Like, I actually, like, in terms of, because I quit sugar in it. Well, yeah. didn't know sugar. I, qu- I quit sugar a bit ago and I was only drinking uh, that. Like, I try not to drink calories no more in it. I'm just sad that there's so much calories in alcohol because I just think it's not a food. Yeah, we should do cocaine instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
don't understand how much. Why is you know when you were younger and you just thought, wait a minute. I remember my old managers used to be like, oh, wine will catch up with you. It's calories and I think I'm going to be calories and wine. Anything we drink now, you just think, why Anything is it calories? Anything that is beautiful is, is, not, is not good for you. Anything so that tastes sad. nice it's and just... stuff, isn't it? What? Um, so cool. So no, now this is real. I would buy this. Beautiful. No, but you so, uh, mm, who, who else? Match? Uh, Match.com. Same how much squeeze? you reckon? Okay. Mm. All part for you. How much you reckon you've made in your journey as an influencer. Bear in mind, mm. the fact that you can even say so far, I've even heard that you've made 4,000. I'm thinking, what the fuck? How much have I made? Let's see. So I've done three jobs with Sainsbury's before. So, so that's 9,000. So oh, 3K, because okay. I've, I've done one video for them. So I've done three jobs for them. Mm-hmm. So I did a summer one, two last year. Mm-hmm. So I've done three jobs for Sainsbury's. I've that's 3,000. Okay, three. cool. That, that was three, because I did three videos for them. Mm-hmm. They gave me 3K. Um, Match.com They gave me three So, so that's six, six so Okay far. Who else have I done something for That they paid me um, What about any of these shops? They've given me free clothes I've got free clothes a lot Wow like, That's a vibe You still go shopping? Me, yeah because I need to still shoot the content oh, Okay yeah. So you need The thing, the maddest thing is You need money to mm-hmm. buy the clothes To shoot the content If you don't uh-huh. have money It's almost like Yeah but if you return it content. You know what I'm saying You could just yeah, have 2,000 here <laughs> If just you know keep what, there's, there's zero money. How do you buy the items? <laughs> just keep two thousand. Buy it. Buy it. Return it. it. Yeah. Keep a two thousand. <laughs> pardon me. In that account. Mm, pardon me. It's really nice. <laughs> Ooh, pardon me. Yeah, I like that. It's really, really nice. Um, I would say I'm trying to off the top of my head. Maybe I made eight thousand. That's a fast. I want to say three years. Of okay. Years, two and a half, three years of being. Obviously, not leaving your job money, but yeah. it's nice. It, Low income. Yeah. Isn't when it, it comes, you're like, yeah. oh, that was. And what's the process? Because I heard certain times that these guys are nightmares to actually get now your money they take back. You to sometimes pay. So like ninety days to pay. Ridiculous. They'll, st- they'll say, "Send me the um, what is it? The invoice." You send the invoice, and they were like, "Okay, we'll pay you in ninety days, sixty to ninety days." And you're just like, "Just forget that money is existing. That yeah. money doesn't exist. Don't wait for it. Don't think, oh, let me go crazy and go shopping." Because you're not going to get that money until two or three months' time. Uh, so just why are they allowed to do? I that? don't know. It's really weird. I heard there was a, one of my friends say uh, that it's really weird. Sometimes he just gets to solicitor just to write a letter, just to nudge them, isn't it? Just to pay. Because, really? Yeah, because they have to. Certain times you send you have you have to chase these people, isn't it? Sometimes you can chase because they're be like, oh, we're so sorry, because they do say. Oh, if you don't receive it in your account by this date, give us a call or give us an email. Thinking, so we even have to chase you. Yeah, facts. Money. Are you not mad? But generally, the ones I've worked with, they've been okay, but it's normally 30, 60 to the 90 days. Now, when you first received your money from mm. these, how did that feel? I was just like... Are you guys serious? It makes you, it makes you more, of a, more yeah. want it, you want it more, because you're kind of like, if I'm a nobody and I'm making this amount of money, I can only, I can't fathom how much people are actually making. Mm. Like the Molly Mays and the other people of the world, you're thinking... For one video, they're probably getting like 15, 20K. Mm-hmm. If I'm getting 1K, mm. no, that's dumb. That's dumb. But that's the only thing is I don't, I'm not at the point of leaving my job because you get a job and then you won't get a job. Mm-hmm. So like I haven't had a job. I haven't, I haven't been given them, I haven't received a content creating gig like since January, I don't think. And when did you uh, uh, start with your agency? Just June. On June. Oh, oh, mm. oh, wow! So it's, they should be, they should be rolling in, innit? They should be. So let's let's watch How the long space. Are, is it? Have you got a contract? We've got them? a contract. The contract's supposed to be. It was supposed to be a twelve month, uh-huh. but then my friend who works in like social media stuff, she was like, "Put a six month clause because if you don't get anything, you're gonna yeah. be stuck with them for twelve months, trying to take twenty percent." Mm-hmm. So, and if they don't deliver you any jobs, and someone else, because I even got another email from another talent manager today, and I thought, mm, I don't think I can have two. So that's not going to work. Are you not allowed to? I don't know. They said it. it I need to double check that if, that if the contract says if it's non-exclusive, non-inclusive, uh-huh. meaning then you can. Uh-huh. So, because these ones look like they're more focused on TikTok. Uh-huh. But let's see. I need to read it and just double check. But either way, I need to just, I need to just. Um, yeah, but because sure. if there's someone else is found you work and they're not. And they're not. Then and it's I'm like, just in yeah. limbo just looking. Because at the moment, if I, if I take the other people on and they find me something while they haven't, then I'm going to be like, okay, what are you guys doing then? To be fair, uh, but then again, then I get to, to fight over um, the twenty uh, percent, yeah, the commission, yeah, because it's almost like who does the commission go to now? But you didn't find me the job; they did. Yeah, but if, like, do they have to know? You know what I'm saying? 
But then that's, that's another thing. Do they have to know? But then if they now watch my TikTok and see, I did an ad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be like, who gave you this ad? <laughs> Listen, who gave you this ad? <laughs> who gave you this ad? It's hilarious. No, no, we're like, I found okay, it myself. To me. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But we're supposed to collect 20% of that. Yeah, facts. Even though, yeah, but surely they know it must be based on what did they find you. They can't just, they can't just do that. Think, what can I do? I'm going to ask my friend. I'm going to ask her because there has to be something I can do. Because if those people find me something while these ones haven't, I don't Yeah Because if it says ads And they see me They watch my They watch my TikToks Yeah because TikTok and uh, Instagram Require you to snitch As well isn't it uh, If I'm just doing a video With Nivea Randomly <laughs> Yeah I'm going to say Oh they contacted me the master. I'm not I'm never going to be like Oh the, I've got a new Magic management company And they yeah. found it for me mm. I'm just going to be like I just oh, like yeah, the Nivea, product Yeah Nivea reached out to me Okay that's fine Whenever they reach out to you, they're supposed you're supposed to forward it to them. Is that what they said? That's what they said. Like if I get any emails, I'm so I'm supposed to. So I don't know. What? Imagine that. that that's a good business for them to be in. Of because what type of nonsense is that? If somebody else reached out to you, oh email us so yeah. we can deal with it. Yeah, you do. So basically they email them so they don't have to do all the back and forth. Mm -hmm. So almost they can ask for more for you. Or, or they can negotiate more, and they with the good negotiating more, they will get more. Mm -hmm. So it's almost a win win. But technically, if they negotiate more, mm. it's like certain times if you're dealing direct with the company yourself, you can get maybe less, but you're getting 100% of you get less. Yeah, 100% of the less. Yeah, yeah, true. That's it. That's exactly That's it. <laughs> that's literally it. Because 20%, in the grand scheme, it feels like, oh, it's not that much, but it will still be a chunk. Because mm. 20% of a grand is it not two hundred pounds? Yeah, already. Well, that's a vibe though. If they if they get you the work though, like, if they, they get, to, yeah, they to need to get me the. Hey, but you said it was only this month. Though, it's only this, it? this month, and they were they were rebranding. Uh huh. So what I'm giving them. A, they're called we pre, we represent. Oh okay. Their their the company's called we pre, represent. So I think they're rebranding or whatever. So I think I'm giving them I'm giving them a minute. Uh -huh. If a few months go by and I don't see anything, I'm gonna be like. Well, and uh, are you only locked in for six months? I'm locked in for a year. Oh, okay. We have a six months reviewing review, period. Yeah. Six oh, okay. Review. So we'll talk and see how it went and just see, like, oh, do I want to continue with you guys or mm, I haven't found anything? So my six months will be end of the year, December. Yeah. Because June, June to December will be the review. Yeah, I, I trust them. Hopefully, mm. I see you with the 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 head hashtag. Like, oh, uh, yeah, see. It's working out. Yeah, that's a vibe, man. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I do, I do enjoy. That's the thing. I enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I would just not do it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you get so many DMs and so many questions and so many people just be trying to dig into your private life. Whenever they see my husband out, they start stopping him and greeting him. And he's like, I don't understand. I'm what? Like, do you post your husband all the time? I don't, I don't. see it. Whenever I put him in my story, yeah. when I used to, because he doesn't even want to be on my stories anymore, he'll be out anywhere. They will stop him. Uh -huh. He can be in a club and they'll grab him. She said one time they grabbed his arm and be like, I know you. Mm -hmm. So I looking at his wedding ring, ring finger. She was like, I know you. And then... He was looking at thinking, no, you don't. And it's like, oh, you're Lucy Kesh's wife and husband, aren't you? And he's thinking, so even in the club, I can't even enjoy myself. <laughs> they will literally stop him wherever he is. That's a violation. They, they didn't because even I, use his last name as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why they have to stop him. I don't feel like... Yeah, but people get... I'm funny, I'm, I'm like that as well, man. I don't care who it is. If I recognise somebody from somewhere, I have to say something. Oh my God, I, I know... <laughs> So I, I get I'm it. Over that. I do get it, but I just feel, I feel like, like I'm hating if I don't. I get it. No, I I get it, but I just feel like he's not the influencer. Yeah, and he's I don't post <laughs> him like that. Yeah. So it's almost like it's like if I saw someone's husband, I wouldn't. I would, but then everyone's just different. I would never go up to that person's husband. Mm. There's a guy. There's a girl I follow on Instagram, and I've seen her husband in Audi a few times. But I would never be like, oh my god, you're that person. That's weird. Yeah. Ew. Am I a loser? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, but, to, to yeah. the person that's not famous, it's a he's bit. He's not in the. It's not like my. It's not my Instagram. Isn't a family uh, Instagram yeah. where he's in it and his face is on the vlog or on the post. I put him in my story, and even now he's just like, Lucy, I don't want to be in your story anymore because I'm tired of these girls finding me and noticing me." And I think he was in Carnival, right? Carnival, and he's like, "This has gone too far." Yo, the internet is a massive place, boy. It's but then to be finding your husband and making him the celeb is nuts. On in carnival, that's crazy. Now, what would you what would you say one of the hardest things about marriage? Are? 
I, I, tell me, I would say the hardest thing and tell me something that you love about marriage isn't it okay hardest thing about marriage is having to be having to consider someone else <laughs> you are selfish yourself. I can tell now you're definitely <laughs> selfish yeah <laughs> Having to having to always consider someone before yourself because before you just think, okay, Lucy wants to get her nails done today. Okay, Lucy will jump in her car, go and get her nails done, have a great time, be there till whenever, come home. Now it's like, okay, Lucy wants to get her nails done. Lucy will take August with her, but what is Lucy's husband going to eat? Oh, and is he gonna, how long is he going to be at home without us for? How does he need the car? Mm, don't know if he needs. There's so many things to consider. <laughs> Right, it's okay, fair yes. enough. Okay. There's, like, you can't, you want to go on holiday with the girls? Yeah, you want to go, of course, let's go. Mm. <laughs> it's not that he's going to say no. He would never say no to me going on holiday. Can I just double check with the mister just to make sure that he's fine and he's not going on holiday when I'm going on holiday? There's just things to consider. Uh-huh. So that, I would say, is, do you say challenging? Yeah. It's challenging. Just the, it's just the, the newness of that. Because mm-hmm. we've been single and there's been baby girls for so long. Mm-hmm. You've always just thought about yourself. Yeah, facts. So that's 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 that. So and I feel like that is the challenge and the beauty of it in the same place because you're accountable to someone. Uh-huh. So if something happens to you, there's someone that you've told, or there's someone that you literally need to make sure and double check that. Over there, of course, you have your mom and dad and your uh-huh. siblings for that. But there's someone that you literally have to just check in with to be like, um, babe, is it okay? Like there's there's a niceness in it as uh-huh. well, as well as a it's a bit challenging. Have you lived with a guy before your husband? No, I, was, I lived by myself. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm, but then How we was that like together. Then? At first, I was scared because <laughs> I was like, "Jesus Christ, anybody could attack me in my house now that I live by myself." And I used to, I used to stay out longer because uh-huh. when I was going home, I'm just going to be by myself. <laughs> That's <laughs> twisted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I got used to it. But I'm never going to have this again because uh-huh. when I have a husband and I have kids. But like when you're when you live by yourself, you can leave your pants whenever you like. You can wash the plate whenever you like. Mm-hmm. You can do whatever you actually. You can do what you like. Uh-huh. But now you're actually in a family home. You can just like you get shouted. Oh, were you messy before. before? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm not even a messy person. Uh-huh. But you can literally just leave something somewhere. Uh-huh. You're gonna come back to it. No one's gonna ask you why did you leave it there? Are you blind? Uh-huh. Why didn't you put it away? Uh-huh. You get shouted at. You can literally leave anything anywhere. Uh-huh. And I when I started realizing that, I was enjoying the just living by myself. Uh-huh. I did. And How long was that for? I think I lived by myself in my house for, I want to say two and a half, three years. Mm-hmm. And then we, when I got with Deji in 2018, we were t- I was still at mine. Mm-hmm. And I moved into his mm-hmm. probably around lockdown time. Oh, that's all right. Moving so, into his, yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. What did you do with your place? Rented it out. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's still running now? Mm-hmm. That's a vibe. Mm-hmm. So okay. Yeah, literally. So I literally rented it out. And then... Oh, so now at least you can't kick him out. No, nobody uh, can kick anyone out. <laughs> Before, when I used to get angry, I'd be like, I'm getting, leaving, stupid house. Throw things and just be like, get out of your dumb house, I'm leaving. And I was almost like, well, you can leave if you want. Nobody's leaving because nobody wants to leave. <laughs> if you argue, everyone has to sit at home and just face it out. But um, yeah, I think living at home is, living by yourself is a great thing to do. I definitely would advise it before you get into a serious relationship, before you probably even get married because you don't realise you, you're not going to get that time again. Mm. Like whether that person wants to have children or that person doesn't or whatever, or even if it's just getting married and being with that person now, you're never just going to have you. Mm. So yeah, it was a good thing that I did. And what's the thing that you love about uh, being in a marriage now? What do I love about being married? I love that. Go on, see what you're going to say. That, that, all of that anxiety and pressure is off you now. That's... <laughs> I didn't even think about that. No one has asked me anything. <laughs> the next question is just, oh, well, you have another baby? Yeah, well, that kind of stuff. Another baby? I think crazy. Yeah, but they I can't want to have another baby. A what? I want three. Okay, but I'm saying they can't, that, that can't be the, 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 it can't be, oh, when will you marry? When will you have children? When will you have another child? That's the questions that we get. That's ridiculous. That's when will it stop? It doesn't stop. <laughs> you have the second one and be like, oh, you're going to have another, oh, you have, let's say you have another boy. Oh, you need to try again for your girl. It doesn't, no, I mean, it doesn't stop. Oh, right. It that's crazy. Stop. It doesn't stop. Then your kids start getting it because your mom's, the, the parents or the aunties are like, when will August marry then? When is August not seeing anybody? Oh my God, it? that's crazy. It doesn't stop. Bro, you don't until you die. It. Yeah, that's until crazy. <laughs> it just goes on to them. It's I want to establish the grandparents. As in like, when will your grandchild marry? Yeah, when will your grand, is your, grand, is your granddaughter married? 
What's your business? Nah, they need to chill. That's they crazy. Stop. They don't actually stop. Um, but yeah, what do you love? What do I love about marriage? You know, I love, I love the fact that somebody loves me. Like somebody's chosen me to be their wife. It's a nice feeling. Mm-hmm. Like I know some women literally just hold that marriage crucifix on their head. Like I'm a married woman and uh-huh. I can die on the life road. But I feel like there's a niceness about it. Like somebody's, every woman wants, not well, not every woman wants to get married, but everybody wants somebody to, they, everybody wants to be loved. Mm-hmm. But being loved and somebody choosing to spend their rest of their life with you, knowing mm-hmm. your craziness, knowing your rudeness, knowing your selfishness, knowing all the personalities that you know you have uh-huh. and choosing you is a nice thing. Oh, it's a nice beautiful. thing to wake up to and to know daily because each day will have its challenges. But daily, and I remember one of my friends said this, you wake up and you choose that person. Because mm-hmm. you could easy, you could leave. You could be like, you know what? I want to be a bad B. I want to be a baby girl forever. I don't want to do something. You can't be a baby girl forever. There's an expiration date on being <laughs> no, a baby girl. Me. No, there, there isn't. There is. There is. <laughs> there is. At one point, they, they, the streets <laughs> don't want you no more. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Yeah. There's not an ex- there can't be an expiration date. There has to be an expiration date. I don't know if there is. What well, do you see some 72 year old bad bees on these streets? And the thing about old men is old men were well, young babes. Yeah, they're not attracted to 17 uh, 72 no, year olds. They're yeah. attracted to 23 year olds. Yeah, even even that though, until they speak. <laughs> yeah, until they start yeah. having conversations with them and they're like, Ugh, this girl's a baby. Yo, 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 you know what's crazy? Like, a young girl right now mm. is way older than you would expect. Like certain times mm-hmm. I'm I'll chat to girls are like 26, 27. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this girl is a this girl is a baby. Yeah, like, she's like age wise, yeah. She's like 10 years your senior. Yeah. She's 25. Uh, junior? How old are you? Junior? I'm 20, 35. Okay, it's junior. Sorry, not senior. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're junior. So you're thinking, hmm. Yeah, so it's like a like so sometimes I and it's like you wouldn't know it at first and then no, you're you like wouldn't. oh my god you're hearing her speak and stuff like, I remember one time I was chatting to a girl and this girl was um this girl I remember because I, I was younger at the time this girl was like uh 22 in it mm-hmm. blah 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 and we're all chatting like mm-hmm. normally and then she mentioned our uh, blah 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 and this is no shot to anyone that works on uh, weekends, you know, only weekends, isn't it? But basically she had a, just a weekend job, isn't mm-hmm, it? Mm-hmm. And then I was on a vibe of, and basically she was on a vibe, oh yeah, 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 but yeah, but I've got work tomorrow and stuff, isn't it? And I think oh, maybe she's just like a, a nurse or something, isn't it? But she literally just was on her, her weekend, you know, the university weekend job vibe, isn't it? Oh. She had one of those jobs, isn't it? And so then wait, I, she goes to uni during the week. No, no, she wasn't at uni. She oh. she had left university now, but she still had the job. You know the old. Oh, so you still have to go back down to the job. Yeah, sometimes so, so you're still. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I was yeah. just like, oh right, like retail, girl, you like yeah. top shop or something. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, oh right, this girl is of that age, isn't it? Oh, like, yeah, so I was like, oh right. And then there's other girls you hear them speak and stuff, and it's like, oh, you clock just by language. <laughs> That, the English. They, no, yeah, but I'm saying some of these girls are smart. They're doing okay, really, yeah. really well in their careers and mm. stuff. But you can just hear the youth in their in, in how their communication. Yeah. yeah so when true. I hear of the guys that are doing forty-two year old with a twenty-five year old, I'm like, what on earth? What are you about? Yeah. What the hell is happening? What do you talk about? Yeah. Because you know that girl's a kid. Yeah, she's she's like, a child. The, she's a child, and there's certain things that's gonna really excite her, and you're gonna think she's actually a kid. But some weird men love that. They lo- actually love the kiddiness in them. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, brings them. That's that's another story yeah, for another time. But yeah, that's all. Just, <laughs> but I'm sure some of them really love that. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, yeah, that's so yeah. Mm. So in terms of like, where else do you plan on taking this? Because like, I'm not gonna lie, I've got like a lot of gems from you, you know. <laughs> uh, because in terms of like, no one's really been that uh, open in regards to. This. That's why I kind of uh, go around uh, basically asking people, oh yeah, what did you get for this and that. What do you mean? Like in regards to their brand deals and stuff, isn't oh, okay, it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bare people bare people are just uh, not open. Oh, they don't really say trans- that. And tra- no, people are getting paid. People are getting money. Yeah. When, we, when I tell people, they're like... YouTube we- said they're going to start paying me once I reach a thousand subscribers. Really? I am on 999 now, isn't it? Yeah. Let me see. If I follow you now. Yes! Yes! No. That'll be sick. You'll be my thousand for... No. Go to this can't come out on uh, YouTube. So what do I need to do? And just to subscribe. Oh, great. This can't come out. Search. Be my baby. Wait. Let me add you guys on my red cup. 
Uh, That'll be jokes. So, wait a minute, 2000. So, once you have, why? Oh, because how many people do I have? I have 500. For what? 5,000 subscribers? No, 500. I think just under or 500 YouTube. You don't, but you, you YouTube. You don't YouTube, though, do you? I do, but I find it so much hard work. It's like growing the following is like, I'm going to die. It's just so long. It's like. Well, why don't you just copy everything that you do on one? But that's what I other. do. I just literally put them. I make them yeah. into shorts. Yeah. That's what I do do. That's what I do. And then, but Ian still, oh, she's engaged. Um, even <laughs> He's engaged. Some uh, yeah. people girl that I follow. But even still, I find that it's still long. I feel like, am I going to die on the line because of this? It's all, it's all long. It oh. is all long. But apparently, YouTube pay the, the most, isn't it? That's what everyone says. People really get paid on YouTube. Tap it in. I feel like... <laughs> you get rough. <laughs> no, I was doing rubbish. That's why. No, people really get paid on YouTube. So if you can... I don't know how much it starts off. So um, how much did they, did they say how much you will start off? No, with? but the thing about it is because of my uh, uh, content is, ah, I've already got one key. Yeah. You already have before me. Yeah, before you. Oh, did you? But still, man, we'll subscribe anyway, man. Yes. Oh. Mean it, baby. <laughs> That's a vibe. Sick. Hmm. Yeah. Ah. And I have white stuff on my lips. Yeah, they can't see it from there. Yeah. Oh, that's a vibe, man. Oh, look, August. Oh, man, EJ's going to get on to me, man. She's going to be what? like, oh, man, why didn't... Because I still haven't seen her little one yet. She's going to abuse you. Yeah, she, 100% she's going to abuse you. you've seen Lucy's me. whole son. I'd be like, well, you haven't come down yet. Oh, you know what I'm saying? One second. He's just, my sister said, oh, my gosh, Lucy, one of the workers in the nail shop, I just got into Nige, just said to the guy doing my feet, I always watch her on TikTok, but she's absolutely has to be talking about you, international baby. She mustn't recognize me from your vids. Oh. <laughs> well, you must get that bit. Because 18,000 ain't no fucking I job. see people. I see people all the time. Like, sometimes, because I, I, I don't want to swing where I live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, that's strange. But even in my area, I'll see people walking in and they were like, oh my God, I follow you on YouTube. Or I follow you on Instagram. I love your videos. When I was going to Miami, huh. I was at the airport. Well, with the baby? When I was with the baby. Uh-huh. I think I was breastfeeding in August. And one lady was like, oh my God, I love you. I, should, I said, Why black? she was like mixed racy light uh-huh. skinned. And I was just like, this isn't normal. Even when I go to parties, like when I go to parties, I know the track people I, went to are gonna... I know people are going to know me there. So like three girls, two girls and a guy. That is crazy. It's crazy. Obviously, yeah, you, it's too many people. It's it's too, too... I'm not going to know every single person, but they're going to know me. They're going to either see me on TikTok or they're going to see me on Instagram or they're going to know someone that knows me. Even my sisters have been approached like, oh my God, are you Lucy? How many sisters sister? you got? Two sisters and a brother. Oh well, which one is uh, the one that uh, dated Adam? Oh, Tommy. Like, give me, give me some uh, horror stories in it. Adam, Adam horror stories, please. Give me one in it. Uh, it wasn't really a horror story. I think is this is going live or no? Yeah, this is going live, isn't it? Yeah. He he doesn't mind anyway. He doesn't. No, care. there wasn't a horror story. I think. Okay, it might not come out depending on what you say, isn't it? Okay. Mm. There wasn't even any horror stories as such. I think for him. Uh huh. Because he's, he's a madman. He's a madman, yeah. But she went to go and visit him in prison. Oh, wow. I think she did. She did. And like, when they did, because they started dating from 70s wedding. And it was getting really serious. They were dancing and enjoying each other. I even remember all of that. I remember, <laughs> I remember all of that. Because I remember when they were doing that like, bridesmaid stuff. Yeah. And Because I was on the vibe. Oh, right. I know her sister in it. But obviously, I didn't really like you them yeah. times, innit? Yeah. I was like, oh, right. Yeah, I know her sister in it. And he's all showing me in it on her phone and yeah. stuff. Oh, look, look, look how beautiful she is. Uh, proper being gassed and stuff, innit? Yeah. yeah. Tell you what's changed right now. In a different field, different lane right now. Now I'm in the mud, switching lanes right now. Passive income getting paid right now. Used to roll around with sinners, bulldozers and killers. Now we focused on figures, three course meals for dinners, five star suites and villas. Now the swag hit different. Cause the bag is different. On the 